This is the story of a boy whose father dies in an accident and he blames himself for not being able to save his father. The other boys at his school also pick on him and taunt him about his father's death. Let's see how he becomes the strongest and most popular of them all. Welcome to Movie Recall. In today's video, we will be going through the 2008 movie Never Back Down. It's time to recall, let's get started, turn on subtitles and spoilers ahead. The movie starts and we see a game of rugby going on. Our main character Jake impresses everyone with his performance in the game and things have been going well for him. When he seems unstoppable, one of his opponents starts playing mind games with him as he goes on to say to him that he was not even able to take care of his father, how is he going to take care of this game? Jake gets extremely pissed off and it seems like what the boy said to him just hit a nerve as Jake Tyler goes on to beat the shit out of him. The game ends with both teams getting into a fight. When they are back in the changing room, one of his friends asks him if he is going to be able to hang out with them later, but Jake says no, telling him that his family is going to be moving to another city. Jake is going to move from Iowa to Orlando, Florida with his mother, Margaret, and younger brother, Charlie, who is a budding tennis star, the move being in furtherance of his tennis career. So he is going to be busy with packing and stuff. Jake is the only adult male member in his family, so his mother expects a lot from him, and when he comes back home after getting into fights, his mother always scolds him as she hates such stuff. The next day, while they are packing, his little brother drops a suitcase in which they kept all of their father's shirts. As Jake looks at the t-shirt, he recalls the good times he spent with his father. Jake is angry with himself and his father. We then learn that one day, Jake and his father were in the car. Despite being totally hammered, his father insisted on driving. Jake offered his father to let him drive, but he did not agree and went on to drive despite being drunk. They got into an accident and his father died. To this day, Jake blames himself for his father's death because he thinks if he had driven the car that day, his father would not have died. His father dying in a drunk driving car crash accident is also the subject of taunting from his other classmates. Jake writes useless stuff on his father's box. They have now moved to Florida and it is Jake's first day at school. When he is in the backyard of his school, he finds a student named Max being badly beaten up by some other students. He tries to let it go, but feels guilty for not saving him, so he ends up moving forward to save the boy, but when Jake tries to intervene, he is told off by Max and his friends as the bullying was actually a semi-sanctioned mixed martial arts fight. There is a girl named Baja in Jake's class. During the class, the teacher asks her a question in the class, but she is unable to answer it. Jake then goes on to answer the same question. After school, Baja approaches him and asks him if he is new at school. They get to talk and get to know each other. Baja is a very lively and attractive girl, so Jake likes what he saw. Jake then goes home after his first day at school and his mother asks him about his new school. He tells her that it's alright. The next day when he's at school, Max, the boy who was getting beaten up the previous day, comes to him and they end up getting along well. As they talk, Max tells him about one of his videos going viral and he is now famous at his new school. Jake is shocked to learn this. It turns out that the fight he had in that rugby match after that boy threw insulting remarks towards him about his father was filmed and now it is everywhere. Jake is now famous as the new bad boy of the school and everyone is impressed by him. He, however, decides that he is just going to stay low as his mother does not like him getting into such things. That day after school when Jake is headed home, he sees that beautiful girl Baja again and she invites him to a party. Jake gets ready and goes to the party at another popular boy Ryan's place. Ryan is a really popular boy in his school as he is the MMA champion there and of course Baja's boyfriend, well that ain't gonna sit well with Jake, right? Ryan however welcomes Jake into his home and when all of them make the square, Ryan challenges Jake to a fight. Ryan is a good fighter and he has always wanted to be the best but after the video of Jake's fight went viral, everyone seems to talk about Jake which is why Ryan now wants to fight as he wants to prove the fact that he is the only champion at the school and that he can beat anyone out there. All the people at the party are really excited to see that fight. Jake however does not want to fight him so he refuses. But after everyone tries to cheer him on and on top of that when Ryan makes fun of Jake's father's death, he agrees to fight. Jake is, however, no more active into the fighting stuff and Ryan, on the other hand, trains on a regular basis, so Ryan goes on to beat him up very badly and he is defeated after not even putting up a great fight. The whole fight is filmed and it circulates throughout the whole school. Jake is now ashamed of himself. When he goes home with all the cuts and bruises on his face, Charlie sees him and Jake tells him that he will not tell their mother about this. His witty little brother, however, replies that he does not need to tell their mother, she has got eyes. Jack gets really upset over the recent events and he does not go to school for the next whole week. 
After he does not show up at school, Max comes to see him at his house and advises him that he should resume fighting. He tells him that he is going to take him to his coach who happens to be one of the best in the business. Max then introduces him to MMA and gets him connected with the instructor named Jean Roca. Jake manages to pass a few of Roca's physical tests and impresses him with his willpower and is accepted as his student. Roca, however, warns Jake that while he is under his instructorship, Jake cannot fight outside the gym no matter the reason and if he breaks the rule, he will be thrown out of his gym. While Jake trains under Roca, he initially has difficulty doing so due to his anger towards this incident with Ryan. Jake has still not been going to school, so that evening, Baja comes to his house to check on him. She tries to make amends with Jake by apologizing for her role in the fight between him and Ryan, but Jake refuses to forgive her. The next day, when Jake gets back from his training, his mother asks him why he withdrew money from the bank. Jake tells her that he has joined a new MMA club and he had to pay the registration fee. Upon hearing this, his mother gets really upset and tells him that he should not be doing this. She does not want him to become a fighter. Jake, however, does not listen to her and continues his training with Gene. Gene himself used to be one of the best fighters of his time, but deep down, he seems depressed and sad and something has been eating him inside as the man never smiles. On top of that, he is just lonely. He has no one with whom he could share his grief. Jake finally goes to school and he still ignores Baja, but she wants to get close to him. Baja tries to make amends with Jake by apologizing for her role in the fight between him and Ryan, but Jake refuses to forgive her. When Ryan shows no remorse for his fight with Jake or his sadistic tendencies, Baja breaks up with him, to which Ryan responds by aggressively grabbing her. When Jake tries to intervene to protect Baja, Ryan insults him about his father again and leaves. At practice, Jake is still furious over what happened and is told by Roca to leave the gym until he cools off. Riding back from the gym with Max, he stops the car on the road and ends up getting into a road rage brawl with a group of men whom he easily disposes of. As Jake beats the crap out of the people on the road, Max videotapes the whole incident and the video goes viral. Everyone at his school ends up watching the video and Jake is a sign of aggression once again. Jake is again a popular guy at his school. One day Baja comes to him and taunts him about being so arrogant because it has been a long time since he has not been talking to Baja, even after she broke up with Ryan. Ryan is not happy about Jake gaining fame at the school. He does not want anyone else to be as famous as him because the man is used to being the most popular one at his school. Once he has had enough of it, he decides that he is just not going to sit back while Jake hogs all the attention. He goes on to trap Jake in the bathroom and badly beats him up. He then challenges him to compete in the beatdown. Beatdown is an underground fighting tournament in which Ryan is the reigning champion. Jake then goes to Max and asks him about the beatdown and Max tells him everything about it and makes Jake understand what it's all about. A lot of big fighters come to fight there and the fight ends only when the other fighter is knocked out. Jake's instructor on the other hand learns about Jake beating people up outside the gym. He gets really angry at him for breaking the most basic rule of the club and this is a rule to which Roca makes no compromise and goes on to kick him out. He further tells Jake that he should not be thinking about making his way back to the club because he is not welcome. That evening, Jake is in the market when he runs into the instructor. They end up having a conversation about Jake's dad. He tells his instructor how his father died in a car accident when he was driving drunk. He explains how the other boys always pick on him about not being able to save his father that night. Jake also tells him what happened at that party and how he was beaten up by Ryan not once, but twice. Gene starts feeling bad for the boy and being empathetic with him, he welcomes him back to the club and starts training him with even more determination. One day when they are out jogging, Jake's instructor tells him about his family. He has always been in the fighting business and his brother was a great MMA fighter and he was also his father's favorite son. Roca confides in Jake that he came from Brazil and is in self-imposed exile. He tells Jake that his brother, who was a skilled MMA fighter, had single-handedly beaten a local troublemaker who had challenged him. It did not turn out to be a good idea as that man later returned with a gun and shot his brother dead. Gene's father blames him for the death, saying he should have been watching out for his brother. He tells Jake that he wants to go back, but he cannot. He is just too ashamed, and he does not know how he was going to face his father. He adds that he himself feels guilty for not being able to save his brother. The next day, we see Jake's mother at the gym. She is there to see his instructor and also pays off his fee for the next two months. It turns out that she has now made her peace with her son becoming a fighter. Jake's instructor also heaps praises on him and his mother is glad to hear that. Jake also makes amends with Baja, he goes to see her and apologizes for ignoring her for such a long time. They express their feelings for each other and start a relationship. 
Max then receives a message on his mobile and learns that the beatdown is a few days away. He makes his way to Jake and tells him about it being close. Ryan, on the other hand, is also training hard for the beatdown. Ryan's dad comes to see him and tells him that he should not be so proud of himself as he is yet to beat the best. By the best, of course, he means Jake. Jake eventually becomes reluctant to compete at the beatdown, seeing it as something Ryan wants, but his mind is changed after Ryan invites Max to his house and assaults him, leaving him on Jake's doorstep to be found. After leaving Max at the hospital, Jake goes to see his instructor, and initially arguing over Jake's decision to participate in the beatdown, eventually relents and reminds Jake to control the outcome. Jake arrives at the tournament, and both he and Ryan make their way through each round, each emerging victorious. Jake makes it to the semifinals in spite of an injury he received in the previous match. Baja arrives to not only support him, but to tell him that she understands why he insists on fighting, so that he would never have to fight again. After learning that Ryan was disqualified in his semifinal match due to an illegal eye gouge, Jake forfeits, seeing no reason to continue. While he and Baja attempt to leave, Ryan confronts him, and the two finally fight outside in the parking lot. Jake is still limited by his injury, and Ryan at first gains the upper hand, applying a choke on Jake. However, Jake escapes and knocks out Ryan using one of the first combinations Roka taught him. Eventually, Jake wins the respect of his fellow students, including Ryan, and Roka decides to go back to Brazil to reconcile with his father. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get new movie recaps.